these are more artistic baskets. They're they have they're not functional, but um, I love creating them because I can maneuver the the pine needles using garden wire, and I can make them go in and out, turn them around. And um, I love creating with beads, so I put beads in this one. Okay, so, I, I, and then these are functional baskets. This is a, a piece you could use as a functional basket. Uh, this is a cabochon in here. This is, most of my baskets are pine, are you, are you ready? Yeah. Most of my baskets are pine needles, except for this basket right here. It's made of sea dune grass. Uh -huh. Nice. And then over here in my pottery section, in my mask section, this uh, is a sagger fire. And I use seaweed and uh, corn husks and copper. The copper you can see on these pieces, the black is the copper. And uh, this is a uh, horsehair. This is a terrace gelata with uh, horsehair. And terrace gelata is a really thin slip that I buff in between spaces. This is Raku, the crackle Raku. And this is Raku also. This is a plain, hardly any uh, glaze on it. The glaze is just the gold. And that's in a pit, how a brick lined pit or something? This Raku is actually fired in a outdoor kiln, a propane outdoor kiln, and then you take it out of the kiln and you put it in a trash can with newspapers and sawdust, you let it catch on fire and you cover it. And oh. that creates the dark, dark black, the oxidation that um, you see right here. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, yeah I like it. Yeah. Do, you, do you sometimes put different sort of elements in with the. Uh, with a mask to give it a coloration? So yes. These masks I do. Uh -huh. Sometimes I put seaweed, sometimes oh, yeah. I put corn husks, sometimes I even use uh, cat or dog food. Uh -huh. uh, yeah, like this one I think has some cat food in it and some dog food. Yeah. This is photographs. She couldn't be here tonight because of a family emergency. One of a motel setting in the Midwest. This one I love, I love spreading tree, uh, bare limb tree overlooking a solitary house. Beautiful meadow. And this one of an Italian village overlooking the bay. And over here we have a few scenes of a lively crowd that we had tonight uh, at the reception tonight. Some good food, good conversation, lots of art to view. Hope you can join us next time.